love this is the bait. Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing and this is the bait. The Sixth Sense Flush is an awesome bait. Love this little jerk bait. It's 5.2 inches long and this color is the watermelon gill. Let me get one of these out and show you guys what they look like. So this little guy right here has some amazing action. It has some fins on the side and it's got a dorsal fin on the back. Now this dorsal fin on the back is where it gets its name from. It'll flush mount the hook. So when you rig it Texas style, that hook point will go right in between. There's like a little groove here on that top fin and it works excellent. Now the plastic is, it's a little tough. I do miss fish on this bait, partly because I was using a four dot hook. The box calls for you to use a five dot hook. So I went and bought some of those. They're the six cents stout wide gap hook in five dot. So this is the hook that you're supposed to use with this bait. But I was using these Mustad Ultra Point 4 rods. It's all I had on me. I didn't have any of the 5 rods. So it does work. It does catch fish with the 4 rod, but it does recommend the 5 rod. Why don't I take you guys to the lake and show you a couple fish I caught on this amazing little bait? There's one. Oh yeah, he's a good too. Yes, oh my first Pflugerville bass. What is that on his skill plate, man? I don't know. That bluegill color got them though. Wow, they have almost no line. That's crazy. That flush hooked it up. It's pretty weedless. I haven't caught any weeds yet, and you can see the weeds out there. Yeah, that fish hit it on a dead stop. Like it was, I was just dead sticking, letting it sink, acting like a dead minnow, and he came up, felt his weight, and got into him. Oh, that's a nice bass. Oh, yeah. Oh, how am I going to get him? Come on. Oh, my gosh, that's a nice bass, guys. Holy shoot. Four and a quarter, guys. Dang. Ooh, that's six cents. Got her done. Look at that big old bass. Oh, and they're still hitting behind me. I gotta get that bait back in the water, you guys. Let's let this one go. Don't tell your friends. That's a big bass, guys. All right, so this is the bait that's rigged up on a four-aught hook. You can see um, that hook point comes right through the fin. So on a 5 out hook, it should come right behind that fin where it's supposed to be. Let's go ahead and cut this 4 out hook off and tie on a 5 out, and then I'll show you guys how I rig it. These hooks are the 6 cent stout wide gap hooks in 5 out, and it's the hook that this bait was made to be used with. I'm just going to tie a regular polymer knot. It's my favorite. Make sure you wet it. Pull it tight. Now I did miss some fish on this bait with the four rot, probably because the hook was a little too small for this bait. Oh! Oh! So you can see the head of this bait is solid, and then when the hook point comes through, the belly is all hollow. So that hook has lots of, it doesn't have to go through all this meat to get a good hook set. It'll penetrate right through. Let me rig it up, I'll show you guys.
Yep, so you come right through like that. The bend in the hook will come out right underneath the head of that bait right there. And then you just kind of measure where you want that hook to come through, which it's right underneath the belly, right kind of in between the belly and this, this bottom fin here. They designed this bait for this hook. So pretty much right where the butthole would be on this bait is where you put the hook point through. And then bam, just like that. See how perfect that hook fits in this bait? The hook point is right there, right in the dorsal fin, keeps this bait super weedless. When they don't eat much of anything else, they will eat this. I just love the color scheme. Just this bait gets bit. So the only downside to this bait, and it probably is necessary for the, flat, the action, but this tail is very, very thin. And it's got this uh, little ball at the end. I don't know. One fish that I did land last trip, I ended up losing the tail. Another cool thing about this bait is the tail, if you look at it, it's not up and down like this, it's like this. So it's almost like a whale tail. And that adds extra flutter, like on the fall when the bait is falling, that tail will flutter. Such an awesome bait. And that is how it looks rigged up. They did such a good job on this packaging too. The way that the baits sit in there. Now the only thing bad about this package is it's kind of big. So it's hard to find a spot in your tackle box for it. And this color is amazing. This watermelon gill, it's probably my favorite color they have. 